In this video, I'm taking you through the toolbar icon creator for Reaper, which is $5 and does exactly what it says it does. So the toolbar icon creator for Reaper is a web app. So once you pay for it on this Gumroad site, you will get access to it. It allows you to browse different icons, a huge collection of icons, and then customize the colors of the three different uh, toolbar states. And it's all very intuitive and easy to use. In addition to this video, there's also a full text and picture based uh, tutorial that the creator has made. All right, so here is the actual web app. Just get started by looking for, let's, uh, let's say, arrow. Type in literally anything, and it will fill this in with uh, icons that are uh, in the Iconify collection. Let's just pick one here. I like. I think I like this icon here. So once we pick an icon, we can then customize it by choosing a color. So let's say red as our default color. So this is kind of the default appearance uh, when this tool is not active and the mouse is not hovered over it. So red or really any color we want. There are a few buttons here. We can copy the color, we can paste the color, and we can also apply this to all states. So currently we're on the normal view. Uh, we have options for the icon color, background color, and border. We also have hover and clicked. And we can see the preview of this on the right side. So here's our icon color, our hover co color, and our clicked color. Clicked uh, as in like when you mouse click on it, and if this action is armed, which Reaper has its own sort of animation that can be added to it, you could have a background color. Sure. Uh, I like that color, and I'll just bring up the opacity. Copy. Paste. So the uh, clicked color will look like this. And when we're hovering over it, we can also do something like this. And we can also add in a border so increase the border we can increase the the size of the border and then over here in this uh, below the preview section there is an icon size so background size and also we can round the corners of the stroke let's do 2.5 for the normal uh, stroke amount here and opacity up hover 2.5, opacity up. Yeah, so that looks pretty good to me. And once we're happy with this, we can click to download the 100% icon, 150 or 200, or we can download all three at once or as a zip file of these. And if we want to modify this further in another app, we can download the SVG, which is basically just this rectangular uh, file with vector graphics. And, and before I actually download this, uh, let's talk about how things actually work inside of Reaper, where, where we would put things, where, where we would put the, um, the icons, and because there's the different sizes, how, do, how are these actually formatted? So let's open up Reaper. And now we will go to Options and Show Reaper Resource Path in Explorer slash Finder. So here's my Finder window. And in here, we look for Data and then uh, Toolbar Icons. This default folder here is what Reaper finds when we're customizing a toolbar. And for high resolution or high DPI options, we have the 150 and 200 folders. And you may not have these already, but you can just create a folder named 150 or 200. And what's really important here is that we don't put any suffix for like underscore 150 or underscore 200. Uh, in the files in here, they have to be the exact same names as what's inside of the toolbar icons folder. So there will be a little bit of manual setup if we're, uh, downloading the zip or the all option here. 
So now that we know how the Reaper Toolbar icon creator works and we know how Reaper likes its formatting for the icons, which folder and all that, uh, let's go through some of the other options here and make something. So if I just look at my Reaper icons here, I can think about icons that I'm not really happy with. Track, recording mode, don't really like that one, or the show all button. Let's just search for show. And so eyeballs and shower. <laughs> so you can see there's there's lots of icons here. I keep moving this window, I'm sorry. All right, so I think I wanna use this icon here for my show all automation button. And by default, white is fine for me with no background color. When I hover over it, I want the um, the icon color to change. Let's do let's do a yellow, something a little bit different than my usual. And when it's clicked, I want a border and the background color. Oh, I can change the border color. Let's do this green and the background. Yeah, um, I kind of like green. I'm happy with that. I'm going to download the 100% image. And that goes uh, Reaper, Data, Toolbar Icons. Make sure there's no underscore. Let's just do a, a JT under, underscore automation. All right. So coming back to Reaper, I'm gonna right click, customize toolbar. I'm gonna find that show all button. Um, we can right click here and set icon, or we can just double click on show all here and search for automation. And here's my new icon. And there we go. Apply. And now that button is added. We don't have any automation on the track, but let's do track with pan and track with volume. And I can just click this to hide those. So you can use this to customize your icons and make them a consistent theme if you like, or to make them stand out even more if it's a really important icon. So in addition to Iconify, library of icons, you can go to the GitHub repo button here. Clicking here where it says search, you can select digits icon pack, and there's a whole bunch here. Or you can type in another repo where you put your own icons or somebody else that's shared theirs, um, and you can grab any of these. You may notice here that some of the icons uh, look a little different in the browser versus when you actually click on it. So here it's yeah, there's this square with four smaller squares inside and all that detail doesn't come through because we're really just looking at like the shapes, um, the main shapes of the icons in here. I should also show you that if you click here where it says solid color, you also have the option of a gradient. So we're currently editing the clicked version and we can change the opacity of two different colors or select a color green and orange gradient. Let's turn off the those. Yep, there's the gradient ratio. And we can also have horizontal, vertical, diagonal, uh, downward to the right or to the left. And this works also for the, the background. Like that and also for the border. So once you pick a color, you can then change the icon and um, sort of have a consistent color scheme for all of your toolbar icons, you know, as long as you're editing them all uh, within one session. So that's the Reaper Toolbar Icon Creator by Digit, and it's $5. I'll have a link in the description. Hopefully you'll check it out. I think it's a pretty useful tool 
allows you to create icons without having to open up a photo editing app. Does all the file names for you, does all the color options for you. Very simple to use. Yeah, I think this is really well worth the five dollars. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can follow me on Facebook or Blue Sky. Support the Reaper blog through Patreon and visit reaper.blog for more tutorials.